All right, so we decided to start the morning off blasting some country so we could let the frost uh, thaw out and look for a buck for Dan here to hopefully stick an arrow in. And uh, we've seen some deer, we've seen a few deer, quite a few deer, just nothing, nothing big. And now we're dropping off and we're gonna go start looking for Matt's buck. Frost has melted off so we can go in there quiet. We didn't wanna go in there pushing, making too much noise because Dan wants to sit back up in there and tonight, this afternoon, and hopefully get a crack or, or turn up that buck he seen last night, so. It's game time. It's go to. It's time to go start tracking some blood or tracking some tracks until we get this pig found. See you guys in a bit. All right, we're back at the spot where we hit this buck. We're gonna walk out to where we got it marked and start following tracks. Hopefully, uh, we won't have to go that far and we'll find him dead. But if not, we're gonna stay on until we we do find it. We got him. Matt just spotted him up. I'm still on the trail right here, following. Yeah, the blood was picking up, so. There he is. Oh, dude, you perfect shot. Hell yeah, brother. Congrats. That's a good buck, dude. That's a dang good buck. Hell yeah. <laughs> Heck yeah. Look at that buck. There's your broadhead sticking out the other side right there. Freaking awesome. Now give me a fist bump. Yeah, man. Yeah, buddy. That's it. Holy wow. shit. Dude, is awesome. that an extra? Oh, he's got an extra. This is a different buck. Wow, dude, he's freaking cool. My first <laughs> mule deer. That's awesome. Heck yeah, dude. Wow. Way oh. to be, bro. Look at that. See yeah, that? it's coming out the other side uh, there. That's smoked right there. I can't believe it ran this far. Finally, to, like finally, there's a bunch of blood. Right oh, here. like back here, about 50 yards, it started really picking up. Oh, it did. Yeah. Here we are, Arizona, OTC hunt, hunting with my main man, Josh, Arizona Strip Outfitters, my first mule deer buck. <laughs> Holy shit. Congrats, dude. Thanks, man. Big deep tines on him. Yup. That extra's cool, that split G2. Dude, you gotta be kidding me, that thing's a freaking horse. <laughs> he, dude, he like never stopped running like the entire time. <laughs> I know. Too. Like I said, dude, this must have been what I heard him go through when I said I heard him crash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I lost him. This is the pile of trees that I lost him in right here. Guaranteed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Way to be, bro. Right on, dude. Let's Freaking get him set, set up and take some photos. All right, guys, we are back on the hill. We got Dan set up in the bottom, and uh, we're hoping for more deer to show up. We're uh, pretty much the same plan as last night. We got Matt's deer all cut up. I uh, got photos taken and uh, I'll show you guys right here after this clip and um, we're back on the hill so it's been a good day been a good good day now if we can just get one more tag filled we'll be we'll be sitting pretty and then we're off to the shows as um, soon as I'm done here I'm driving to Vegas getting on a plane and flying straight to Denver and uh, I'll be in Denver doing uh, that show uh, expo outdoor hunting expo and then from there I'm driving to Sacramento and I'll be in Sacramento at that show 
So, it's about show season, time to get busy, right after guiding, and uh, actually have to work a little bit. <laughs> but right now, we're just going to class and uh, enjoy the evening and uh, a little bit of success. So, we'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, what's up guys? We are back at the ranch house and we are cooking up back straps. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We got some in the oven marinating. And uh, we're gonna kill it in some uh, extra virgin olive oil and a hot pan. So, I'll let you know how they turn out. <laughs> 